Google has significantly expanded its developer tools for Android TV to now include things like instant apps, speech-to-text support, and predictive typing. Quoting VentureBeat, Google Play Instant refers to Android apps and games that can be launched immediately without being installed first. Google has been working on the concept for years. The company unveiled Android Instant apps in May 2016 and renamed it to Google Play Instant while adding support for games in March 2018. Google Play Instant was finally made available to all Android developers in May of that same year. More than two years later, Android TV developers are finally getting it too. What developers will also find especially useful is Play Store support in the Android TV emulator. This will make it easier to test Android TV projects and features like subscriptions in the emulator without having to deploy anything on a real device. Google has also added pin code purchasing in an attempt to ease the friction of buying content on Android TV, but it's not much of an improvement. Instead of typing your password on Google Play, you can now type a pin code instead. Big whoop. Speaking of typing with a remote, that's easily one of the most infuriating experiences with smart TVs, and Google has finally replaced the A to Z layout with a QWERTY layout. The new Gboard TV also includes speech-to-text predictive typing, different alignments, center, left, or right, and optimizations for over 30 countries. Speech-to-text and predictive typing will be particularly useful as alternative input options and in apps. Google has also improved gaming on Android TV with an auto low latency mode. The mode lets developers disable Android TV post-processing and minimize latency whenever a game is shown in full screen, end quote. Along with those bells and whistles, by the way, Google also announced that active Android TV devices have grown by more than 80% year over year, and Android TV now works with seven of the top 10 smart TV OEMs. 